Hi, and welcome to Day to Day with Ray, with me, Ray Ray. So this is kind of a funky angle, I know, but this is, again, low budget productions. Um, today, well, I'm going to do the rest of the Russian ball tips. Let's see how they have that. I'm gonna try to play with them a little bit. Um, and then I also have the ribbon tips, which let me see if I can, if you can see them. So these are the ribbons and these are the balls. Um, the ribbons, they take a regular, the ribbon Russian tips take, or a ruffle, I should say, take a regular size coupler, or you can just drop it in the bag. Maybe I'll do these first. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's, I have all different, there's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight different ones. So, well, I have eight different ones. So I know you're supposed, I think you're supposed to stand it up like this. Again, low budget productions. And you're just supposed to be able to glide it. Oh no, maybe it is this way. I don't know, this is what I got so far. I mean, that's cute though, right? Maybe it's not supposed to, see, again, here we go, showing my non-piping skills. Maybe it goes like this. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, so that's the second one right there. And that is this tip. Let's move on to the next one. I just want to put a nipple. Okay, so here is the next tip. I'll show it to you in a second. My cats are cranked up tonight. Okay, oh, this one's coming out already. So here is, let me wipe this off a little bit. So here's this, mm. I'm trying, I'm trying again, low budget. Here's this one. I don't know how well you can really see it. Because I think when you work on the cake, you would work this way, right? Or maybe it goes like that. Oh, this one's like really thick. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I mean, it's got the... Like I said, I am no piper. And I did mix two of my frostings together. So maybe my frosting consistency has something to do with it because I had a watermelon frosting that was in the freezer and then I used my regular buttercream that I, I have uh, been using and I mixed them together just because I knew I needed more for when I did the balls so we'll see okay so this is this tip how well you can see it there's like a line all right let's say I could be doing this wrong I could be maybe you have to hold them this way oh I like this one but no, I was, look at that, that one. Look how good that one came out. That's cute. And you can just hold them this way. So then you can do the next line or whatever. Well, of course you would do this. I did it wrong, of course, like usual. That one's nice. I like that one. That one seems pretty easy. Lemon squeeze it. Alright, this one's got like a weird hook on the... I don't know if you can see this. Can you see this like little... I don't know what that's going to make. Let's see. Alright, you ready? Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. This one right here. Do you see it? That's nice. Oh yeah, do a happy dance. Because I could never pipe, but now I can. Terrible singing. Terrible singing. No, that's like a smaller version. I don't know what this one is. This one seems... 
different. <laughs> All right, here is, this one looks like it's bent. Do you see how that is? Like it looks like it's bent. All right, let's see what this one does. I'll try to hold this up for you. All right, ready? Here we go. I don't know how well you can see that. That's a cute little ruffle right here. And that's this tip. That's cute. That's super cute. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, what do we got left? Okay, this one. Okay. I didn't think these were going to take me too long, but I'm glad I'm doing these because, like I said, these are really nice. Okay. Ready? We got this one now. Oh, you can't really say it, can you? There's that one right there. That one's cool. That one's definitely cool. I'm so glad that whoever made these tips did because they save a lot of people. Namely me because, uh-oh, I got a fire call. Somebody is having trouble breathing. Well, I'm sorry about your luck, but you're messing up my production. All right, here we go. This is a set. Well, let me see if I can see it. You can't really see it. Okay. I'll try to get it at a better angle. I actually have my table right here. So, all right, here we go. What? Well, they all kind of look the same, but I think it's like the way that the... See, here we go. I just did this one right here. Can you see that? Is this one down here? All right, I have one more. And then that will be it for the ri um, ribbon wave. Woo -hoo -hoo. The ribbony. I can't even think of the damn name now. These wavy ones. All right, here we go. Last one. That's this one. It's just like a little, a little wave. All right, I'm gonna do it right here on the bottom. Ready? Okay, and that's just a basic ruffle. It doesn't have any of these little fancy. They all, you know what they remind me of? They remind me of balances and curtains. Like, I know that's probably so silly to say. But that's what they remind me of. Okay. So all the ruffles are done. So I'm going to actually, I'll take these out real quick. Not that you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to scrape this off because I noticed that my icing has changed the consistency because the two different frostings, of course, were two different consistencies. Because, like I said, one is uh, a watermelon, and it was in the freezer. And, uh, okay. All right, so I got it pretty clean. Now, we're going to try these ball tips. This is a different one. In my last video, I just did the plain... I just did this one. So I'm not going to do that one again. But this one has a flower in the middle. So I'm going to just hold it. And I'm going to just let it kind of flow. And then maybe twist it. Okay. Let me hold this up. I swear I washed these. I don't know why that looks dirty. So there's that one. And you can see there is like a little something something in the middle. But now, I'm going to twist it. So which way should I go? I'll go this way. You see me piping it. I'm holding it up so you guys can see. Okay. 
Okay, okay. I am really, really loving these. Okay. So here's my first one that I did. Oh, was it sliding off? It's sliding off a little bit. This is my second one. Look down in the middle. There's like the middle of the flower sliding down. So that one, that one's really cool. Okay. These, of course, I think they would not only would they. I'm not gonna use this. Wait a minute. Hold on. I gotta go to trash. Okay, so I'm gonna, so yeah, that was, um, that's really cool that they have, like, the different, um, innards to, like, make a flower, so I guess with these, I guess you can do it either way. Alright, let's try, um, this one's a skinnier one. This one doesn't have anything in the middle. This one's like actually skinnier than this one. It's like longer and skinnier. So let's give this one a whirl, shall we? All right. So I'm just going to hold it up so you can see. That's it just pouring out. I don't know how to like break it off. That's the problem. Okay, so, and these take a lot of frosting. I'm just going to twist this and, like, lift up. Okay. See, this is what I'm not really sure with these is because, um, so this is the other one, the skinnier one. This is just piping it regular, just squeezing it straight. And this is it with the twist. It has a very pretty side. The middle's just, I guess you could just put like a sugar pearl or something in there maybe. I mean, that would be pretty. I don't know if it's supposed to resemble a rose or something. But I mean, I guess that's okay. So, but like I said, if you do this, like I said, I only have 12 inch bags. So I knew I was gonna have to refill these to do this um, and there's actually quite a bit of frosting that gets down in the um, the tip so it's you're actually using a lot of icing and I really don't have too much left because I did wash these but I guess when I squeeze them out there I, I washed them in um, steaming hot soapy water but I'm just not going to eat any of this fond this fondant, this frosting. Because I'm just going to have to use it for this and just finally chuck it and get rid of it. Because I have all my tips done. Alright. So we got a refill. Alright. I'm making a mess with this. Alright, so here's the next one. There's a little bit of icing on it. So here's this tip. All right, let's see what this one does. All right, let's go. See, I don't know how you're supposed to, like, should you just do that? And Oh, this one's pretty. Like, is that what you should do? Like, that's my only thing. Like, I don't know how to, like, because when you pull up. All right, I'm going to twist this one now. Ready? Here we go, twist, twist, and twist. I'm gonna like kinda, but then you can't see the middle. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out because, all right, I just kinda messed that one up because I'm trying to lift. Okay, so this is it being piped regular. And this one is the twist, which this one doesn't look too good twisted, but it looks good. It's got really nice form being layered, like a rippling effect. 
I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. All right, I have one more to go. One more and we have all my tips tested. All right, one more to go. One more. I don't know, like I said, it could just be my um, icing. I am taking my icing into consideration. Also, like I said, there's two different consistencies of frosting that I just kind of threw in one in one bag so I could make this uh, video because I didn't have it. I knew I wouldn't have enough um, with uh, to do these. So I mixed the two, which is fine. Okay. Last one. This is another circle one. This one's again tall and skinny. This one is uh, more round. This was the better one. This was the first one I did. All right, here we go. All right, again, we're just going to do it like this. See, and then I don't know. Just break it off like that and then just let it fall. See, that's like really pretty. Okay, now I'm going to do a twist. Maybe I'll twist it this way. Maybe you just have to like kind of twist it the way it, I don't know. Oh, now see, this one looks more like a rose. Okay, so this side is just a regular squeeze and this side is the twist. Look at that. See the difference? I don't know. I I mean I really like them. I I really like the ribbon or the uh, ruffle tips. I really do like these. Um, let me grab my camera real quick. Um, I really do like these tips. Um, also, but uh, it's it's gonna take a little bit of time to uh, get used to them. Um, I'm not really used to working. I'm gonna walk over here and put the I'm talking to you like you're just like right here. You know what? I'm gonna move this like this. It's just gonna take me a little bit of time to get used to them and to play with them. Um, I really like the ball tips a lot because you can put them on cupcakes. You can do a bigger flower, like some look like a carnation, some look like roses. Um, but yeah, they're just, I haven't really seen much with the ball tips on YouTube or anywhere, any information. I just seen where they just like hold them and squeeze them out on top of a cupcake. They are gorgeous like that, but they have the, I guess, stamens that go in the middle of a flower in the middle of the tip. So they look really flowery like when you twist them. Like I said, I've never been a good frosting person. I've all, I've said it in all my videos, but um, but yeah, I really like them. The cat's going to go eat the frosting, <laughs> so I need to go clean up my mess. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to um, join me on my journey every day, day to day, whatever day it is, um, please hit subscribe. I talk about anything and everything from motherhood to my pituitary tumor to um well my my pre pituitary tumor um just the recovery from that um i'm cracking down on my weight loss so that's going to be another journey um i'm looking into things to do with my son so both of us can lose weight because even though my son's only six he is a chunky monkey and although i love my chunky monkey we be we both need to lose weight so um of course i'm not gonna do it with all this cake frosting and stuff but no 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 um but yeah so I'm gonna start my uh weight loss journey again um I'm no longer taking my cabergoline and uh I've been feeling pretty good so I need to get this weight off so this is a time I'm not hungry as much as I used to be on the steroids so I got I can do this I know I can do it I've done it before I just gotta get my mind right and get it done so, and I always seem to lose weight in the fall anyway. Like, it's weird. Like, in the summer I gain, but then in the winter and stuff I lose. It's, it's weird. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. 
So hit like and subscribe. Um, just let me know you're out there watching. I mean, I see the video watches, I see the numbers, but nobody's like, likes me or subscribe me. Do you not like me? Like, sorry, like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm out of here. Peace, love, and happiness. Remember, be nice to everybody because somebody's fighting a harder battle than you are. So, peace, love, and happiness once again. I'm out. I got a mess to clean up. I got frosting all over my hands, and I got to clean my tips. That sounded terrible. I said tips. Get your mind out of the gutter. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye.